Hello and welcome to the new lesson of the transformer series. Now in this lesson we will be understanding a basic transformer. We will create a basic transformer of course virtually. So let's get started. But before we start if you find this video useful uh, and easy to understand make sure you click on the like button at the end. Do not do it right now. Do it only after you find it useful and easy to understand. Right? So that is the only request I have. And of course to join the complete course on transformers you can download the electrical guy mobile app which is available on iOS and Android platform as well. I'll give all the details about the course down in the description. You can check the links given below. Now let's uh, build a very basic transformer here. So as you can see in the image we have a coil and to that coil uh, we have connected a uh, alternating supply eg now this coil is having n number of turns now the moment we connect the supply eg to the coil current im that is the magnetizing current will start flowing through the coil right and this magnetizing current will create a flux phi in the coil which you can see in the image also and definitely as we have seen in the previous video that Due to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, a voltage will induced across the terminal of these coils, right? That we have already seen in the previous video. Now, uh, what we will do in this case, we will bring in one more coil near to this coil. So here you can see we have brought a coil near to this coil. And the moment we bring the coil near uh, the near our first coil, the flux some part of the flux will get linked with the coil number two as well by mutual inductance and as we have seen in the previous lesson because of faraday's law of electromagnetic induction a voltage e2 will be generated at the terminal of the second coil that is terminal three and four now you see we do not have any physical connection between these two right uh, there is no wire connected or nothing is between the two coils, right? But still, you can see the voltage generates across this terminal of the second coil. And that is really a magic electrical engineering can do. Electromagnetic induction. So basically, without any sort of physical connection, we could transmit the voltage from one coil to another coil, right? And the combination of these two coils is what we called as a basic transformer. Simple, it's very easy to understand. The combination of these two coils uh, wherein we are transmitting voltage from one coil to another is what we called as transformer. Clear? Easy to understand? Good. Now the coil that is connected to the source is what we called as the primary winding or simply the primary. The coil which is connected to the source is what we called as primary. Just note, keep in mind, it should be connected to the primary. Uh, sorry, it should be connected to the source. Then you can call it as primary winding. And the another coil which will be connected to the load is what we called as secondary winding or simply the secondary. Clear? Winding connected to the source is called as primary winding and winding which will be connected to load is what we called as secondary winding clear now initially uh, when we only had one coil we saw there was only one flux there phi m right but now you can see in the image we have two fluxes now what is this so initially uh, when we only had one coil our flux was phi only right now out of that phi some portion of flux is getting linked with the secondary winding that is called as mutual flux and it is given by phi m1. So let's say if uh, the primary winding is producing 100 flux, only 80 flux are getting linked with the secondary coil. Now the balance flux, they will not get linked with the secondary coil and those flux are called as leakage flux and it is given by phi f1. So 20 is the leakage flux, 80 is the mutual flux and total of these two will give us the flux phi produced by our primary winding. 
so some part of that main flux get linked with the secondary and some part will not now the question is why there is a leakage flux why some part of the main flux will not get linked with the secondary if you know the answer let me know what is the reason for that down in the comment section below so i hope this explains how the basic transformer is created and this is just the foundation video and again this will give you a clarity as we progress throughout the videos and throughout all the course so definitely if you want to join the complete course and you want to know the complete details you can download the electrical guy mobile app details are given down in the description in the next video we will learn about the ideal transformer we will see what are the different properties of ideal transformer and how that ideal transformer behaves under no load condition so definitely to get that detail make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already right so that's all for this video guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning